The bank has been around for 175 years. We've been around since Martin Van Buren was the president. People are shocked to see those numbers, the little balloons that we have in the office, the 175, they, they can't believe it, you know, like, that's a long time. At Provident Bank, commitment to our customers has been our promise since we first opened our doors in 1839. From humble beginnings in a one-room office in Jersey City, where our first day deposits totaled $227 and placed into a tin box, we have dedicated ourselves to serving the financial needs of individuals, families, and businesses in New Jersey for 175 years. Very few banks in the nation have attained this milestone. Providence survived the Civil War, two world wars, the Great Depression, savings and loan crisis, and a dot-com bust. Each and every time, we not only survive these historic challenges, we emerged stronger than before. Throughout our history, the Beehive, reflecting both strength and partnership, has been the symbol of Provident. Through strategic mergers, we've grown from a community savings bank to a major financial institution, offering our customers an extensive array of financial products and services. With every merger, we've expanded our service area, increased our market share, and added talented people to our staff. We listen to our customers, investing in innovation to address their ever-evolving needs. In 2003, we established the Provident Bank Foundation to give back to our local communities. In 2011, we acquired Beacon Trust to help customers attain, preserve, and expand their assets. Through all the significant changes, one fact remains constant, a commitment you can count on. What makes us different is our commitment to our customers. It tells our customers that you can rely on us today, tomorrow, and forever. It's all about the, the community and the closeness and, you know, commitment to one another. At the end of the day, it's a commitment that extends from each and every employee to each and every customer. I deal with a lot of business customers that call for help and call for questions and, and, and I'm there to help them. It's really a hometown feeling and we're not so much about numbers, but helping the customers achieve the goals that they want to achieve. I take ownership of challenges, I take ownership of customer issues, and I don't let go until they're done, until the customer is satisfied. The difference is, is that we have employees that, that care and want the bank to succeed. Two tours to defend his country. Now that's commitment. Practicing six days a week, dancing since she's been four. Now that's commitment. Working the Friday night shift till dawn, then coaching Little League on Saturday morning. Now that's commitment. At Provident, we also understand the power of commitment. Without a strong banking relationship between a bank and a company like Calandra's, there's no way I would have the comfort to know that I can expand if I didn't have that trust factor, if I didn't feel as strong as I feel about the Provident Bank. My father came to this country in 1958 looking for a better life. He opened up the bakery in 1962. My mother worked the cash register. My father delivered the bread. He made the bread. He, you know, did everything. And little by little, we grew. We grew from five people in a little storefront in Newark to over 750 people currently. We're in the bakery industry. We're in the hospitality industry, restaurant, hotels, real estate. Provident Bank has been with us every step of the way. They've given us the tools to grow. And more importantly, they've given us trust. I know if I need something and I call them, they'll answer the phone, whether it's the weekday, the weekend. I can call my personal banker. I can call the president of the bank if I have to. Well, the Provident uh, commitment, you can count on uh, certainly a tagline, but it certainly isn't. We live that every day, and it happened with the Calandra family. We've been able to uh, develop that business from just a bakery into a real estate, uh, certainly multifamily lending capacity, but also having credibility with the Calandras. And I think the fact is that we're always there for them to say we have the power of yes, as opposed to the uh, power of maybe we can do it. Provident Bank was there for my father. Provident Bank is there for me and my brother. 
and Provident Bank will be there for the next generation of Calandra. Standing by a customer's side for generations, that's the power of commitment. Miracles are performed every day in the NICU of St. Peter's University Hospital. Unfortunately, some of the newborns are so fragile, many parents don't see their babies as much as they'd like to. But thanks to an incredibly generous donation from the Provident Bank Foundation, parents and their families can now access the new NICVIEW video system, allowing them to check in on their babies from any computer, tablet, or smartphone as they grow stronger every day. Unlike other places in the hospital where somebody may stay three or four days, our children can be hospitalized for 60 or 70 days. This system is easy, it's transparent, it's safe, it, it uses ambient light, and the parents just took to it immediately. There's 20 countries already where grandparents and siblings and people in the service can see their babies. Because of their support uh, and their enthusiasm and their generosity, we were able to have a system that makes us unique in the state and one of only several units in the country. Literally, the walls have been removed. When tragedy struck the Fernandez family, their two children were suddenly left alone. Luckily, the children had guardian angels at Provident. If you go back to when Andrea first met Tarsila, it was almost as if everything was aligning itself for what had happened to these kids. So Tarsila was my customer at a former bank. Um, I was with them for about seven years and she was my customer throughout those seven years. When I left um, that bank, I joined Provident and she came over with me. Uh, she immediately set up her business account. Uh, she had a couple of businesses and she also set up some personal accounts. Being a business owner, being, uh, having a mortgage, having kids, I thought that she would be a perfect fit for life insurance. So uh, Andrea just did with Tarsila what we do. We look out for our customers and we find ways to protect them and to put them in, in a good place. And uh, then what you never expect to happen does. I was on my way out to an appointment and um, this young girl walks through the door with her boyfriend and her boyfriend's mother and it's Tarsila's daughter. We made a couple phone calls. We called a gentleman that was the owner of a funeral home nearby that we all know because it's the neighborhood funeral home and um, called around to some good people that we knew at other banks that would at least tell us, yes, we have this, this name on, 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 our, on our system. It, it's, just, uh, it's just what we do here. You know, divine intervention, it seems like it was throughout. You know, it was from, I guess, maybe the day you first met her to the day you sat down and, and the, you know, signed on the insurance policy to the day that I crossed their path on my way out and knew that that was Tarsila's daughter. So you just kick it into gear and, and take care of this young girl who's now, um, who's found her way to us. And uh, we're kind of glad that we were the bankers that she found um, because I think we became more than just bankers to her and to her family at that time. They truly went above and beyond in the most difficult time, proving once again commitment you can count on. So really for us, Sandy started the week before it actually hit. Knowing it was coming up the coast, we started monitoring that on Thursday, Friday, the week before. What I saw within the bank at all levels of the organization was um, commitment and commitment to our customer and commitment to making sure that our customers, even though they were impacted in the storm, they were at least had the ability to do financial transactions. Branch managers, regional managers, going out in the storm and serving their branches to ensure that we can get those branches open as quickly as possible. Our president and CEO, Mr. Martin, scouring the state 
for diesel fuel. As we started to run low on fuel in our generator, he was out on the road trying to find fuel. I've often um, heard of uh, people who pump gas that want to be CEOs, but not CEOs that want to pump gas. Brian McNair is a um, network engineer for the bank, and he's the only network engineer. Brian worked um, prior to the event, round the clock, during the event, round the clock, after the event, round the clock, for weeks, until every single one of our branches were back in play. You know, we, we recently just changed our logos and our, and our color and our brand image, and it used to be green. Um, and at, at the time of Sandy, it was green, and, and you could see people bleeding green. It was evident to me how much people cared, not only about the bank, um, but, but, but their customers. You know, people really stepped up and, and did what they needed to do. We all have a lot to be proud of this evening. But our incredible success story could not have been written without each and every one of you. After 175 years, we're going stronger than ever. Our merger with Team Capital will increase our assets to $8 billion and expand our service area to Pennsylvania. You are the people who put commitment you can count on to work every day. You are the people who give our brand its strength and serve as its foundation. And you are the reason we will continue to grow and prosper today and tomorrow. And thanks to you, the future couldn't be brighter.